I also wanted to show you how I set up the live recording software called OBS. It's also free. Um, so the first time I did this, um, had a lot of problems. So I thought it might be helpful to share how I do it. Um, so you can download OBS um, online for free. And this will thing, this thing will pop up. Okay. So once you have all of your inputs in, like your webcam, uh, your microphone, and all that stuff, you can first add a scene. So I just added a scene here. It's blank. So that's cool. You can call it whatever. And then um, now you need to input your sources. So we'll add. And then we'll input um, the video capture device, which will be your camera. Beep. And we'll just say create new. And then click here to find whichever camera. Oh, that's the other one. So click this one. Cool, that's me. And then um, click OK. Cool, that's there. You can also resize this if you wanted to. So I'm going to put myself right here. Whoop. OK. And then I also need to add my, um, my mic. So we go audio input. Input because you're inputting it in. <laughs> OK. So uh, create new. There you go. Um, device is one of these. Um, since it doesn't let you know, what you can do is add it, right? So if you have two, add it. Um, and there you go. You'll see the levels moving, okay? Um, you can adjust this here. If you don't see levels moving, that means um, it is not capturing your voice. Like this mic is very cheap. So I had to increase the gain a lot on it. Um, you can also do that through here, system preferences, go to sound, just to like double check yourself and go to sound and then um, like go back out here, go to sound and then go to input, click that thing and then see if your levels are moving um, and then increase this if you need to. I'm always maxed out, so that's what it do, okay? What you can also do cool um, also is um, add like an image, right? So you could put like a background. Um, and you can get really creative as to what you can do here. And then in order to start streaming live, you go to your Google browser, YouTube's, and then you go to your creator studio. Okay. It's like a so slow. Okay. Live streaming. Um, and you'll want to close, like, if you have a lot of stuff on your computer, you'll want to first make sure you have enough memory that you're, like, in the green, basically, in terms of memory. You don't want to be, like, um, thirsty for memory. Um, okay, cool. So you stay here on this stream now. Okay. So you can set up all the stuff here that you want to. The most important part is the server URL. Copy this. Come back in here. Go to settings. Go to stream. Put that right there. Um, reveal this, copy it, put it here. It should be the same every time because it's your um, your YouTube channel that you want to stream to. You hit OK. I always kind of double check it just to make sure. Um, and then you can go to studio mode. So you can just kind of make sure to like if uh, what you see here is being streamed to the public. You can also stream unlisted right here in privacy. So say you're not really sure. You just want to try, right? So you can select unlisted first so you can go through the motion and just see if it works. You also have a chat here. Um, you can pop it out. And uh, this is what I'll view when we're actually streaming a live show. And I'll just make, make sure everything's all good. Like I still see levels moving that it still says it'll say live. And on these numbers will stop moving too. You can actually record straight to your computer like a backup right away. Um, I feel like I don't need to do that, one, because I think it'll overload my computer, and two, I can download after the fact, after the stream is done, directly from uh, my YouTube uh, video manager, where you just go to your video manager. <laughs> okay, it's very slow, I'm sorry. And, um, and then, um, what did I say? So it, 
it should show up here. A uh, big thing is um, when you record a live streamed video, after you're done, sometimes it won't show up here right away and then you'll freak out for a good 10 minutes until you Google it. I'll save you that time. Just search live or whatever you named your, um, your live video, put it in here. I always start off my videos with live and then I search that and my live video should be here after it finds it. And it's a weird way of sorting it. Even though it's the most recent thing I've done, it didn't show up the first thing and I was freaking out. So I Googled it, that's what it is, okay? So just search what it is in your search bar. It is in your videos um, if everything went according to plan, okay? Um, so yeah, when you're ready to go, you just hit start streaming. When you're, when you're done, you just hit stop, okay? And you should see numbers here just to like keep an eye on it, monitor it, um, and then that's it. And then your live video comes up here. And then, like I said, you can download it right away after it's available for you. Go here, download, and then you can edit it and you can do all kinds of things. Okay. Upload new thumbnail if you want to later on. So that's how I do the OBS stream. It took me a long time to figure that out. I was kind of scared of it too, um, of streaming live until I figured this out. So that's cool, isn't it? All right. So I hope that was helpful. I'll see you next time. Bye.